Well, hello and welcome, everybody. This is your host, Kendi Foster. Today, I have an amazing show. You're not going to want to miss this show. This show is going to give you some of the principles that you'll need to take your business and your life to the next level. I have a very special guest today. He has uh, been in Hollywood for over 30 years, and we're going to be talking about a lot of what he's done. But a lot of what he's done are he's got specific principles of what he's done to help people to not only become the best actors uh, uh, that they can, and uh, he's coached some of the best in the world, but also the business of Hollywood. What is the business? And it applies to your business no matter what business you're in. So I hope you'll stay tuned. So the uh, title of the show, Courage to Master the Business of Acting. Okay. Business. How do you start to master any business? Well, of course, it takes time. It takes energy. It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of purpose because you better be purpose driven. But, you know, if you're purpose driven just to make money and money's not a bad thing, we all like money. But if that's your purpose, you're probably not going to succeed very biz, uh, very long in any business that you uh, you want to accomplish. So for me, I know that I've been coaching individuals, business owners and startups for 28 years now. What I've found is that each person that will connect deeply to their own soul, to that passion, that purpose that's within you, when you start to understand what that is and you start to say, this is what I'm going to do, then, of course, what does it take? It takes courage to walk into the unknown, whether you're walking into an acting class, or you're walking into a new business, it takes courage to walk into the unknown. But listen. The unknown is where all the gifts, everything lies. All the brilliance lies in the unknown. In fact, in the unknown is where you learn to tap into your inner genius. We're all born with genius, but you've got to tap into it, and you got to know the principles how to do that. That's what this show is about. I hope you'll enjoy this show. I'm going to take a quick break, and then I'm going to come back with my guest. I've written a new book. It's called The Courage to Change Everything, Daily Strategies and Wisdom to Unlock Your Genius, Your Soul, and to Transform Your Life. So it's daily strategies. I wrote this specifically because over the years I've noticed in my own life and in the lives of my clients that, listen, a little inspiration doesn't get it. A little wisdom doesn't get it. A little action doesn't get it. It's daily, dripping on the mind, dripping on those actions, taking specific focused actions towards your dreams and setting specific goals, right? Goals help us to transform the little self into the possibilities that we have in each of us. All of us are given dreams, and if you're sitting there and you're not manifesting that dream, it's just a little bit of you is chipping away every day that's not happening until you finally wake up and say, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to connect with something greater than myself, my force, my God, my life, my universe, whatever. I don't care what you call it. You tune into that force, and that's what's going to get you to the next level. Well, welcome back, everybody. As promised, uh, Chi Moilo is with me today. If, for those of you that don't know him, he is the owner of the production company Blackhawk Entertainment, and he's the CEO of the talent management company Alan Edelman Management. Chi's debut as an actor, writer, director was with the feature film Catfish and Black Bean Sauce and was met with great success and made Variety's Top 50 of 2001 limited release winner at the box office. Now he's gone on to do so much more since then. He's uh, an icon in Hollywood today. And he really helps uh, actors that are coming up in the uh, field today to really avoid the pitfalls of the business of acting and be able to take their careers to a level that probably would not be possible without Chi's uh, advice, his help, his guidance, and his leadership. Chi, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Ken. I'm humbled to have you, man. You know, I'm reading your bio and go, man, she's done so much in the business. And, 
you've really helped a lot of people along the way. I always like to start out and just ask, you know, what motivated you to go into Hollywood in the first place and get started as an actor yourself? Um, I just think it's a, I think few people have this. I mean, people would say they inspire, they want to do this, they want to do that, whatever it is. But for me, it's more of, um, um, more of um, my DNA. I think it's part of my DNA because my, I have 12 brothers and sisters and my, every one of them went to the uh, regular what Asian um, uh, people, or Asian kid would do at, uh, at a young age. I just went to, into acting and then, you know, since there's 12 kids, my mother and father and mine, one lose out of 12, it's not bad. So um, I did the right thing, like went to the top school, you know, high school performing arts, government school for the arts, were Dr. Gloria Shoes Theater in New York, a year in Temple University, and then got a full scholarship to go to American Conservatory Theater, uh, trained there for two years, graduated on a Saturday, came down here on a Sunday, and we were on a writer's strike. Three weeks later, I mean, uh, three months later, I worked. I worked a regular job uh, to support myself for nine months part-time. And after that, never looked back. I haven't, I don't, I don't think I made more than four dollars and twenty five cents an hour uh, on a regular job. <laughs> so you were you were one of the starving uh, actors at the time, way back when. <laughs> I, to be honest, I have never been. Uh, I, I would love to, to to label myself as a starving actor. I never have. I mean, you know, I, 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 I my mother is an inspiration woman. Um, she makes sure, for whatever reason, that she makes sure that her kid. Because there's only one, it's a little weird, a little whatever and all. It's so obvious that there's something different about this one kid. So she wanted to make sure that he's going to get everything he can get, have to compete with American kids. So I, I, and what she said to me, which is very, very important, that every if, if you know your kid is going to this business, and if you can give them this, uh, it's a wonderful thing. She said to me, um, I don't, I, you know, you know, money is just a phone call away. All I ask is just don't do drugs. <laughs> so I didn't smoke pot until I was 27. So let's just say I did. <laughs> well, at least well you waited that. till you're 27. Good man. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but 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 at least really, your brain was formed at 27, right? <laughs> of course, you know. And, and so so, but but what's nice about it is Ken is that uh, she give me um, a, a, a freedom to fail. So with that, I, I was never the word starving or all that, you know, if I would love to label myself like, oh, I was a starving, struggling actor. I wasn't. I, I, I got success very fast. In four years, I got my own shows and then um, did a lot of work. And then I did something really stupid. I, I, I went and direct a movie, you know, which is, I think it's one of the mistakes that I made as an actor, which, you know, I tell other actors don't do that until there's no reason why I should direct a movie in my 20s when I could direct a movie in my 40s. And that's the reason. That, uh, that, not make, to do. that makes sense. That makes sense. So you, you didn't maybe you didn't have the experience yet to uh, to be able to do it uh, the way that you could obviously today or even in your 40s is what you're saying. No, I just think that, 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 that I wish I had someone like me. I mean, I'm a very high, strong. By the time I graduate from school, I have 64 acting teachers on my belt. And you, not many people wait, can wait, say repeat that. Repeat that. 64 acting teachers? Yes, on my what? belt. By, okay. by the age of 20. Wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I mean, the school that I just named to you, these are big school, um, 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 prestigious school, and, you know, they have a lot of active teachers. Uh, and, and, you know, so I'm not one of those people just, you know, flying to LA and take some few classes and then, you know, and, and start working. No, I literally took the real route. And so, so on that note, um, what was the question? Again? Why are we talk about the teachers? <laughs> um, the lesson here of, oh, oh about, about why I did the film and all that I was so high strong that the, but the you know being Asian and successful and we broke a lot of doors we did a show called Vanishing Sun and me and Russell broke down a lot of doors for Asian actors and all that but the thing is I wish I had a manager I, had, I wish I had somebody who I believe in that can grab me and say no don't do this and you say, no, I want to do it. No, don't do this. This is the reason why you don't do this. Da, 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 da. Right. And I wish I had that. You know, if, if someone were to tell me, why would you want to direct a movie when your career, your acting career is rising? 
It's going somewhere, it's on, you know. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Listen, I got to take a quick break. I got to pay a bill here. But listen, when I come back, I want to know, you know, the business has changed a lot, at least in my perception as a lay person, from where you entered 30 years ago. So I want to know how uh, people break in the business today. I'll be right back. Okay. There comes a time when you know you need to restart and regain control of your life. A time to seek freedom from the anxiety, addiction, and other issues that may be bringing you down. A time to heal and re-emerge as the real you. Villa Kalima is a holistic residential recovery program exclusively for women for individualized treatment. Villa Kalima offers proven clinical and holistic therapies for the mind, body, and spirit to assure sustainable recovery. Villa Kalima focuses on healing the cause, not temporarily masking symptoms. It's the only way to truly recover and find yourself again. Villa Kalima is located in a beautiful, peaceful, resort-like setting and is a licensed and accredited residential treatment center accepting a variety of health insurances. Start your healing and renewal today by calling Villa Kalima in La Costa, California at 760-814-8214. 760-814-8214. Villa Kalima, a place for transformation. Are you feeling stuck or in a holding pattern with your business or life and you're not doing the things you want or love? Then at some point, you're going to be faced with a decision. You'll either choose to keep living in your comfort zone and risk a life of mediocrity or increase your courage, step into your power and forge into the unknown where everything new becomes possible. If you're truly ready to live masterfully, then you need Ken D. Foster's newest book, The Courage to Change Everything, Strategies and Wisdom to Transform Your Life One Day at a Time. This powerful but simple guide provides you with 365 days of life-transforming wisdom, profound questions, and action steps that will increase your strength and open the doors to success. Stop wondering why your business or life isn't working. The answers are available now. Imagine if you had more courage or another chance to start following your dreams. To pick up your copy of The Courage to Change Everything, visit thecouragetochangeeverything.com. That's thecouragetochangeeverything.com. Well, welcome back, everybody. I'm talking with the famed Hollywood. Uh, what up? You got so many ta tags, man. You got producer, you got director, you got uh, teacher, you got, you know, this man, Chewy Moy Lo, is, uh, is an icon in Hollywood. And for those of you that uh, may recognize him, he's been on numerous shows, such as Nip and Tuck, Melrose Place, Murder in the First, CSI, NYPD. Malcolm in the Middle, Smallville, Buffy the Empire Slayer, and so many more. And he's made a whole bunch of people's career. Hey, it's such a blessing to have you here, man. All right. So um, how do we do it? How do we do it in business today in Hollywood, man? First, I, by the way, I love your 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 your, your book uh, title. By the way, I I, I always like that um, that slogan: uh, "The Courage oh. to Change." Thank you. Yeah, soon to be a big show, big TV show. So that's oh, uh, yeah, it's coming. I'll tell you about it maybe after uh, after the show. <laughs> Let's do that. So um, I for twenty years I've been bothered, really bothered when I opened my manage bought my management company. I would, so I have to go see these showcase showcases. Uh, basically, for these Ivy League school like Yale, Julia, ACT, which is school that I went to, NYU, Temple University, uh, Carnegie Mellon. On and on and on, and they would showcase these uh, these kids that graduate, and 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 then you, uh, the the power to be will be there in Hollywood or in New York. We'll pick them up, you know, whoever you, you, uh, get chosen on. But most of it is so is so messed up. It's so wrong. I've been bitching about twenty years, and I only taught this class called Mastering the Business of Acting three times, and so on. finally someone told me, said, "Why don't you put put?" I just I, I'm just you're not a teacher. You really you. So why don't you put it on tape? 
and 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 you don't have to deal with it anymore. I said, good idea. And then it just got bigger, bigger, and bigger. So we created this product called Mastering the Business of Acting. Here's the thing that bugs me about these schools and all that. These are called these are considered used to be an Ivy League school for acting. And it's the same problem they're having these days is that basically they have these kids having to put all spend all these money, like USC is two hundred and eighty thousand dollars right now to forget to, for four years. And 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 they graduate and they don't know how to break into business. Why? Because the people who taught them didn't make it and don't know anything about the business. They only can teach the acting technique, which is really a 40 percent. You know, the talent is like 40 percent of, of, of the of, of how someone succeeds. 60 percent is all about the business, how you succeed. Uh, uh, in the, you know, so they're not talking about that and they can't. And then the, so the thing that was bugged about for 20 years, things on it, some of these Ivy League schools are master program like Yale, uh, um, uh, Temple University, ACT. So when you when you graduate, you're 27, 29, 31. That's pretty old. And your career is already over before it begin. Um, um, if you don't even have your SAGA after card. Oh my God. Okay. So wait, I get it. I get it. I think my audience gets that. All right. So what do you do? I mean, you're, you're young, you're vibrant. You're, you've been acting in high school plays. You, everywhere you go, you want to act. And now Hollywood's calling and your mom's saying, go to, go over here to Temple, go over here to UCLA. And you're like, do I do that and spend the money or do I go somewhere else? What do I do here? Until they change their program and add the business side of, of in the education, uh-huh. don't go, okay? I don't want to encourage people to go to college anymore. I mean, if you do go to college, and if you go through these things, that, that's why I'm trying to make a deal with some of these colleges and say, hey, you got to talk about the business. You got to talk about the business. These are the stuff you're not talking about. Uh, and and, 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 and it's, it's, just, it's, a, it's a crime, you know? And some of these schools, these corporations uh, are making money off a of student and they're robbing them. You know, because they 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 they, they, they use this old system saying the graduate program is the one. But no, the undergraduate is the best one. Imagine the new world that we live in a year from now. Everything that you need to learn about acting is in the undergraduate. Not to get rid of the graduate program and put everything in the undergraduate. No one have to lose their jobs and all that. Put it in the undergraduate. By the time these kids graduate, they're 21, 22. Wow, what a perfect age to start your career. Perfect age. Uh, 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 and if you have the maturity and you have the training now and you understand about the business, you're in. And you're ready to go. And so. Um, OK, so I get it. I get that. So but what's what what can a kid do now? Because they're, they're, they're they don't have that in place. I mean, they can they come and see you? I mean, do they do they take college and see you at the same time or your programs or what? What do they do? So uh, we I created this product called Master of the Business of Acting. You can go to our website, masterofbusinessofacting.com. You there's a seven episode over twelve hours about the business. It only costs I charge only one ninety nine, and the reason I don't charge one ninety nine because I don't I know the kids been robbed already and you know been exploited and all that. I do not want to uh, want to do that. And these are subjects we talk we cover. I mean, uh, over fifty crazy questions that people have uh, really difficult to answer. I, I, we cover that. Answer it honestly. Um, personal finance. Three, child actors. Crying on cube. Uh, uh, the value of a good coach. Acting classes. Resume. Headshots. Demo. Marketing, marketing, marketing. How to get your union card. The ugly truth about agents and managers. Self-tapes. Reality about casting and casting directors, pitching, producer session, studio and network testing, commercial versus theatrical, and last mostly relationship, relationship, relationship. Those are the subject we cover. And do, we do they teach covered. any of this in the colleges? I mean, no. I mean, I'm, I'm no. just yeah, no. And you would think that in LA they would be teaching this as well, but they not. And why so they're, they're teaching acting skill sets then? Yes, they teach okay. you all about the technique, but you know, uh, my uh, you know, whatever, whatever, I learned it all, and yeah. it, uh, you know, so 
Because they can't. It's not like they don't want to. Mm -hmm. they, it's like this, Ken. Let's say death. Everybody know about death, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. We saw it in a movie. We've seen it in a film. We've seen a friend of our a father dies or whatever. Right. But do we really know about death? No. We only know about death when we experience someone really close to us die. Mm. Then we understand it. Same thing with our acting business. If you would never have got a job, you never went out more than 10 auditions, and you never, uh, you're not in it with the, the world's changing. So how the hell are you going to be able to teach that? You can't. You so how, you how important then is talent versus versus the business? Is there a, is there a, I mean, you, do you have yeah, to have but, talent? I mean, some people would seem natural to have, you know, they're a triple threat. They can sing, they can act, they can dance, they can, you know, they, they come in like that, but others have to really work at it. But is, is, where does the business side fit in here? <laughs> I would say if for a successful person, 60% is the business, 40% is talent. So, Ken, let me ask you something. Let's just, let's just play a little game here and let, let your audience come in with us. <laughs> let's ranking wise, what is the most important thing, okay? Um, looks, talent, who you sleep with, who you know, um, connection. Um, what is number one, ranking wise, do you think is the most important thing? In, is number one. I, I would say connections. No, drive. No. What'd you say? Drive. Oh, drive. Oh, yeah. I purpose drive, of course. Absolutely. Right. Now, yeah. after five years in the business, after five years, same thing, same question. What is the most important thing? That's a good question. Is it drive or connections? I think you still got to have that drive, man. Yeah. Drive becomes number two. Okay, number one become a healthy mind. If you get rejected, if you're in the business for five years and you're successful, whatever or not, you got to be rejected at least 200 times. 200 times, if a girl say no to you and you ask out a girl out on a date, 200 times, 200 girls have said no to you, you better make sure your, your mind is healthy because you can walk into an audition, meet the producers, and before you even say a word, you say, what the fuck? Well, you're not going to hire me. Yeah, that <laughs> that's, what, that's how you exude. You, you got to think that way. Yeah, I, I was I was a stockbroker and I got rejected 300 times in the first week in the business. <laughs> but some people can't handle it. The yeah. most talented people in the world, yeah, we don't get to see them because they never made it. They quit. So what I'm saying to you is the worst actor who is very driven can succeed than the best actor who's not driven. Right. I get it. All right, I gotta pay a bill. Be right back. Okay. <laughs> when I when we come back. I want to take a little uh, deep, a deeper dive into the, uh, uh, what do I want to say? I want to talk about technology and acting and how that plays into what we're talking about here. We'll be right back. Have you recently used your phone, computer, and Wi-Fi? and wondered if they might be affecting your sleep focus or possibly even your well-being? Living Design Technology has investigated recent developments in how electromagnetic energy coming from a variety of sources including cell phone, Wi-Fi, microwave, radio and TV are impacting people and their environment. They have developed simple, effective tools that support the harmonizing of the electromagnetic energies present in your home, office, and car. Living Design Technology works by providing the information nature needs to balance the electromagnetic energies in your environment. It's amazing. Nature is actually doing the work when Living Design Technology is present. Find out more at livingdesigntechnology.com forward slash courage and put in the code COURAGE to get 20% off your first order. Yeah, welcome back, everybody. I'm speaking with Chi, Chi Moi Lo, and he's the renowned Hollywood business manager and has created a way for thousands of aspiring actors 
to learn the behind the scenes business of acting. And I wanted to talk to you about technology. Here's what I'm thinking. You know, uh, you know, during the pandemic, nobody could even go in for a, for a screen, right? They couldn't go to a casting uh, call. They had to do it all online with technology. What, uh, how's business changing around that? Are people going back to normal? Are new up and coming actors still having to do those casting calls over the, uh, over the Zoom? I, I don't know. And I don't. We don't do over Zoom. But what we do do is um, um, we do self tape. So you tape. You you. That's what I, I one of the category. Sub the type. The chat. Oh, like like a like a sizzle reel. A sizzle reel. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Okay, that's <laughs> what we call. Time. Yeah. But self tape is basically you put a camera and you 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 uh, you lit yourself well and all that and you you, yeah. you tape yourself your audition. Like the you know a regular audition is to get the casting people are taping it. This one you're self taping it, so it, it changed the game a little bit. And the, the the good news and the bad news is that it it works well. Some casting gonna keep uh, one third of it's gonna keep it, and two third will probably go back to normal somewhere in September, and yeah. we start seeing the live audition again and all that. But self tape is important, and a lot yeah. of people don't realize. Um, um, like I work, I developed one kid and, and we have to do a lot of self tape uh, for, in order to get him to where he is. He had three, he's had three TV series now. Yeah. I've done 26 shows, but, uh, the wow. three series, three series regular on three different shows. Wow. So anyway, he, we, so we did a lot of self tape, but then this time around, I have to show the entire company how to do self tape and the best, even the best actor, uh, actor. She didn't know how to do it self tape, and I, I, I finally looked at it. It was a very important role, a very big, pro, big project. And I said, "Let me look at it." No, 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 no. You gotta redo this, and I have to explain to her. I have to say, "She said no." And it just came out my acting. I said, "No, darling, no." Some people don't know who you are. They don't even know how old you look now. You were in a Cosby. They don't know what you look like anymore. So. Your audition is as important. They have to see you. The lighting has to be great. You have to know how to show yourself to make sure you look proportionally right uh, and everything. Uh, listen, listen, Chi, man, I got to interrupt you, man. I got a minute and a half left in this segment. But here's what I like. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, let everybody know, you know, master the business of acting.com. I know that that's where they can find you. I'm wondering if uh, right after this show, we might uh, do just a little uh, additional interview because you're just like, you got so much to go here. I'd love to put that out to my audience. I don't know if you can do it or if you have time to do it, but um, yes, if you do, yes. if you do, we'll do it. Um, yeah. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. So I got to close up here, but uh, we will do. So you heard it. Uh, Chi Moi Lo is going to do a, uh, a little additional segment with me. So stay tuned. Stay tuned right now. All right. And um, for those of you that um, uh, are in the business, so you were thinking about being in the business, so you have family or friends that are thinking about being in the business, you really need to take a step back and learn what we just uh, learned on this show. So I hope you'll uh, check out the site. Again, the site is the uh, master the business of acting.com. If you'll do that, I think your life will get better. And well, not, not better. You're going to spend a lot less money and you're going to have a lot better results. That's what I know. All right. Thank you so much for being with me today. Until we meet again next time, I hope you continue to see the unseeable, know the unknowable, and do the impossible. Mm -hmm.